Uh, moving on though, our last story for the week comes to us about the uh, new helmet technology. So um, there is a, basically a new helmet design from Canyon that got the number one spot at the Virginia Tech Helmet Lab, uh, kind of dethroning all of the things that use MIPS at the moment. So. If you're not familiar already, helmets with MIPS uh, involve like a low friction internal layer that can, it, it sort of floats freely inside the helmet. It can move a little bit and shift if you do have an impact. Uh, it gives you about 10 to 15 millimeters of like rotation to reduce that rotational force that causes traumatic brain injuries. Um, this new system though is called RLS, that stands for Release Layer System. So instead of being an internal layer, this is an external system of plates that actually can like break away from the helmet and roll away. Um, so with this new technology, there are three layers to the helmet, starting with the, the base layer, which is the helmet shell. And then on top of that, there's a what's called a bearing layer uh, that is bonded to the helmet shell and that's made up of like little tiny polycarbonate bearings. And then on top of that, there's like the outer shell, which is called the uh, patented release panels. And basically if enough force is applied, the adhesive between the layers kind of breaks free and allows the separating plates to roll and break away from the base layer. And that actually works a little bit faster than the MIPS system. So it is ultimately safer and a little better at uh, taking away that rotational force. So according to the RLS website here, there was a company called Folksum Insurance that tested 68 different helmets between 2019 and 2023. And then a quote here directly, RLS was shown to reduce the relative risk of concussion by 76% compared to conventional helmets tested in this set. RLS was also shown to reduce the relative risk of concussion by 63% when compared to helmets equipped with MIPS in this data set. So I mentioned the uh, Canyon helmet that is uh, kind of up and coming here yet to be released that is called the Deflector RLS. That's uh, kind of like a mountain bike style half shell. And then there's another brand, another company that is producing a helmet uh, that actually got the number two spot at the Virginia Tech Lab. That is called Hexar and the helmet is called the Meaden RLS. So the company Hexar or Hexar uh, was co-founded by Jamie Cook who actually created the RLS technology and, and founded that company. So uh, the helmets have 6.82 and 6.93 ratings respectively to Canyon and the Hexer. Uh, and so the Canyon model is again, uh, details to, to be released here, but we're gonna have a retail price of 160 bucks on that. And then the Meaden helmet is a commuter style helmet that's set to release in October with a price of about 150 bucks. Uh, but then Hexer's website also lists an Aero Road helmet called the Cypher. And it uh, doesn't look like that one's been tested by Virginia Tech yet, but that one is set to come out next spring and costs around 250 bucks. Um, I mean, a lot of good information in there, but you know, for me, my going away, like. The big takeaway here for me is just the fact that we're getting safer technology. MIPS has for a very long time been kind of the standard for helmets. Um, the top safety rated things that you will find out there almost all had MIPS technology in them. And now we have like a new number one and number two in Virginia Tech's very well uh, respected database. Uh, it's really awesome to see. And even looking at their database here, those are more affordable helmets than basically everything else like in the top 10. Very too. good point. Yeah. So we're seeing some premium elite tier protection for more affordable costs, new advancements in technology. This seems really, really promising and I'm very excited for this tech to come out and hopefully we get our hands on to test it uh, for ourselves. But yeah, it's really promising stuff here, so. I agree, I feel like it's not that long ago that we were just talking about sort of the last shakeup at Virginia Tech's ratings. There was the Fox helmet that mm -hmm. uh, I believe you talked about on the show a while back, but you know, just in the span of, of a couple months, a few weeks here basically, that we've seen you know big changes in the industry and if it actually turns out as promising as, as it looks, I expect this is gonna just sort of take off. I say TBIs are not fun things and not things we like to see, but it is unfortunately a thing tied into the cycling culture. So if there's something out there that can further reduce like occurrences of that, sign me up all day. Absolutely. But anyway, that's going to do it for this week's news.